everyone so it's empties time i haven't done an empties for quite a while actually because i hadn't thrown out the empties from the previous month which is a bit naughty and then i'd just kind of gotten confused as to what they were and i had to start again and it was a whole situation anyway i'm gonna jump right into it i have got a plastic bag because i've lost the other empties bag so sorry about the rustling but i think i think it can be quite minimal we'll see um, empty number one, if you've been watching me for a while, you will have seen this before, my beloved um, Near Hair Remover Wax. This is my go-to wax for the bikini area. Um, I try and wait for it to be on offer and then buy two of them because it works out a lot cheaper that way, otherwise you're paying the same price for just one when you could get two. And I love it, it just works brilliantly and if they ever discontinue this product, I will cry endlessly because it's just great, it's so easy to use, I love it. Um, then what else do we have? Makeup item. This is my, again, beloved. I think this is maybe my third one of these. The Lottie London Ready Set Go Setting Powder. It's a translucent setting powder. It's what I've set my foundation on today with, which by the way, the foundation I'm wearing today is the new Makeup Revolution, um, pore blurring, whatever foundation, and I love it. First time using it, so we'll see how it wears and everything. But don't you think it's just absolutely beautiful on the skin? I'm looking in the viewfinder now. It looks so, so nice. It's full coverage and matte, but not kind of too cakey or flat looking. And it just looks really flawless. And it's five pounds. It really, really reminds me and how it looks on the skin um, of the Fenty foundation. I've got it in F10 on today. Love it so far. Um, so yes, I set it with this and I love this powder. It's like four pounds something um, and I just use it with a, I've got a little bit in here but it wasn't coming out when I was trying to get it out was the only thing. Maybe I'll try and sort of like shake it until it does come out into the lid and then I can use it. Um, on a damp, real technique sponge on the flat side and just kind of stipple it all over my makeup. It keeps everything in place, it mattifies and it doesn't look really powdery. It just kind of gives everything a nice kind of slightly soft focus finish and I absolutely love this product. It's so, so nice. It's just, I love it. Um, then what do we have next? So I've got two fake tan empties. One, oh, do you know what? I've actually got loads of these. Um, one is the Extra Dark Cocoa Brown, another one is another one of the Cocoa Brown Extra Dark. This is my go-to fake tan, I love this, I use it all, all the time. It dries quickly, it gives a nice natural colour, it's affordable, it's just my favourite. Um, but then I also used up this one, which is just the dark version, I use this just to use it up. Didn't use all of these this month, they were kind of somewhere half full and I was kind of alternating them for some weird reason. But um, yeah, really, really like those. Empty shower gel. This is the Palm Olive um, Madagascar Forest. I won't buy this again. It smelled nice in the thing, but didn't smell particularly special when you were using it. It didn't leave a scent, and it was just kind of meh. There's other shower gels that I way, way prefer. This is my new favourite hairspray, um, and it's really cheap. It's just the Wella um, Silver Silverkin Classic number four firm hold i just use it to kind of just like hairspray really it doesn't smell particularly amazing but it smells okay and it just works really well and you can buy it in like home bargains and it lasts me for ages empty deodorant um this is the nivea double effects violet senses deodorant i like this deodorant it smells really good um mitchum is still my fave but I have to, sorry, <coughs> that hairspray made me sneeze, um, that the, with the Mitchum deodorant, I have to have little breaks of using it because I find it stops working and then you kind of I'll get a bit sweaty with it, so you need to take a break from it and come back to it, so during the break I'll use anything like this, I like the Nivea ones, they work okay. Um, an empty shower gel. This is Soap and Glory's Clean On Me. I love this shower gel. However, I think there's something flawed with the packaging and that you can never get the last bit out and that annoys me and I wish they would put it in a squeezy bottle rather than like this because there's a fair bit in there and I'm not going to start cutting it and scooping out the shower gel because that's annoying. But, um, yeah, I love the shower gel. It's the classic Soap and Glory scent and it just smells amazing. 
couple of skincare items. Um, this makes me sad. This is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Serum, which is my favourite, favourite serum. I love this. I'm on my second one now, and they have discontinued it, so I have to buy it on like Amazon and eBay, and one day I'm not going to be able to get hold of it, am I? And I just loved it. The texture of it was so perfect for my skin, and such a kind of... I feel like, you know, there's a gap in the market for kind of mid-twenties, not ready for anti-aging, but still have quite oily skin, but don't want spots type products. Um... And this was just perfect. The moisturiser from the same range was great. I love this. And I'll be very, very sad when I finish my other one. And have to try and hope I can get hold of some more of it. But love this. It's just silky. It kind of refines your pores. It's great under makeup. There's just nothing about this that I don't like. Um, then the Nip and Fab Glycolic, Inst Glycolic, Glycolic Instant Fix Mask. I really like this mask. It's a nice gentle glycolic. It's not like the glycolic from The Ordinary, which is very, very strong. It's milder, kind of just leaves your skin looking nice, refreshed, gets rid of any dryness without any irritation. I would buy this again. Um, an empty one of the Be Hydrated from Superdrug um, Hyaluronic Acid Facial Spritz. I like this one. I don't like it any more than the other one from Superdrug, the vitamin E one, um, but I would buy this again, but I'll only buy it on offer because I think the B range is a little bit overpriced when it's not on offer, if we're being honest. Um, another empty one of the John Frieda Visibly Brighter Brilliant Brunette in Shower Lightning Treatment is what I occasionally use on my hair. I'll use it maybe sort of every three months or so just to give my hair a little bit more dimension, but it kind of doesn't really do that much in terms of lightening your um, colour, but I really like it and it it works well and I always buy it from like eBay or that or Amazon because it's a lot cheaper there than in store. In store it's like eight pounds whereas you can buy like three for eight pounds on there. So I just do that. Um, this is a thing that I have already repurchased actually. It's the Your Good Skin Calming Cream Cleanser. It's just a really nice product. Um, it, I won't take my makeup off with it, I'll use it like as a second cleanse, but it's just really nice, lightweight, doesn't leave a greasy residue, cleanses your skin, nice basic cleanser and it's really, really affordable, works nicely with the Clarisonic, uh, I can't really fault it. Um, what else do we have? We've got a few more bits. Um, an empty shower gel, this is the Bloom Mandarin Lime and Basil shower gel. This was nice, but I wouldn't rush out of my way to repurchase it again because I felt like the scent wasn't that strong. Um, this, oh, I popped this in here. I didn't use this, Paul used this up. I just wanted to tell you about it. It's the Tropic Eucalyptus and Bergamot and Black Pepper Body Wash. He said it was really nice and he's really picky about shower gel. So I just wanted to give that a little shout out. Um, another makeup empty, a mascara empty. I love this mascara to death. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Again, if they ever discontinue this mascara, I will cry. Wand just looks like that, but it gives you the biggest, fattest, sexiest, as Nadine Bagot would call it, stripper lashes, and I'm all for that. I'm not wearing it today, actually, I'm wearing a different mascara today. But if you want, like, big lashes in zero time, this is what you need. It's expensive, but... It's better than anything else I've tried. Um, and then I have another shower gel. I like this shower gel from Affordable. And actually, this is the Radox um, Long Lasting Fragrance. What is this? Pink Lychee. It's the scent touch thing, isn't it? Which apparently when you touch yourself and it revives the scent, it doesn't. Like, you don't smell like it afterwards. Um, but it smells really nice when you're in the shower and it's quite affordable. And then last but not least... Yep, um, I've got an empty Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, which I've used up completely. I really like this. Um, I like it as much as the Body Shop one, the Camomile one. Um, it's great for taking makeup off. I prefer it in the winter time to the summer time just because of the texture, but it is a great, great product and something that I definitely will go back um, and repurchase at some point because it does just work really, really well. I love the packaging of it too. So those are all of my empties for the month of, well, the technically February empties really, aren't they? But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you've used up this month and I'll see you soon for more empties. Bye.